Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome to Thet Plays Rimworld, a colony simulator by Tynan Sylvester. Welcome to version beta 18. Yes, we are no longer in alpha. We are in beta now, and that means there's not going to be any major changes to Rimworld, according to Tynan. As time goes on now, there will still be some additions and some changes to it, but the bulk of the game is complete now. And the bulk of the game that we're playing today is modded like crazy. There are plenty of mods here. Feel free to pause to take a look at them here, or you can find them in the description below as well. And we're going to start a new adventure. For those of you who have joined me in Alpha 15, 16, and 17, welcome back. For those of you who have not seen those, welcome to That Plays Rimworld. Hope you enjoy your stay. Now... I'm going to start with a, hmm, I think I'm going to go ahead and just jump open the scenario editor here and play with something a little bit more random today. I'm going to actually have a specific uh, inventory set for my characters, but action with writers, I like the sound of that. Epic for Chemist, Skirmish 9, Truth 8. Adventure for the Dice. All right, I like this one. All right, so we're going to start as a tribe. We're not going to start with one person, though. We're actually going to start with four, and you'll see. Sure, a tribe arriving in drop pods. Works for me. Age range allowed. I don't even care. Animals. Let's see. We're going to start with an animal, but we're not going to start with that. So one of the mods I do have is the medieval mod, but let's start with... Agriculture 1, I think, sounds like a good thing to start with here. Prisoner recruit chance bonus. I don't know if we want that. We'll just have the regular recruit chance. We're not going to disallow buildings. That seems a little goofy. Plus, there's a lot of buildings now. So, let's not do that. Start near a stonecutter's table. That's start near a pizza, yes. Yes, we will start near a pizza. We'll start near one pizza. That will not start near an eyeball, but thank you. Uh, let's see, anti-material rifle. There's a bunch of items here. All right. We don't need a plant pot. Everything else can kind of just go away for now. Scattered randomly. There you go. So we're going to start as kind of a tribe. Now we do have some new storytellers as well to choose from. Cassie Classic allows us to have more population. That's kind of what I'm going for here. Uh, before this series started, I did do a quick vote amongst y'all. And you decided that one of the things you want to see me do is try to take out all of the pirate bands, which is going to take longer now uh, from this seed. But even with the smaller map coverage, I'm going to go, I'm going to go 30% here, but you'll see why once it generates. Um, but the more population is going to be necessary because I think I'm going to want multiple. Well, first of all, the ability to have an army and a home, and an away team. Uh, that's going to be the army and then a home team, which is going to take care of the base. And secondly, I'm going to want um, to probably make multiple bases as well. As you can see, there are some new icons here on the map. And there are a lot of factions now. There are a lot of factions now. Oh my god, there are so many factions. And some of them we'll be friends with even though they're pirates. Like this, this guy, the crazy gang. They're so crazy they have a 28% like toward me. And I'm not hostile toward them. So... Lots of diplomacy to be had in this particular Rimworld adventure. And they also have medieval war, band, war bands and medieval societies as well. So we got a whole new era to discover and explore as time goes on. Let's go ahead and rock out a random site here. Let's see. Temperate Forest. Eh, seems a little, a little samey. Let's see. Temperate Forest, okay. Desert, that would be interesting. It'd be its own challenge. Arab, Arab Shrubland, right here on the edge of the world. There's also the Archipelago that we could choose, which is a chain of islands, which could be its own interesting challenge as well. Let's see. Now, I'm going to do true random here, only because I, I want to be on the mainland. That's the only thing I want. Okay, I am, am on the mainland. Oh, wow, there's actually a full island over here. Two of them. But there are no pirates on this island, so it should be fine. There is a pirate on this one over here, though. That's going to be a little bit tough on the old locust forest. The names for these places are new as well. Names are randomly generated because, you know, all these 
places are already already uh, populated for the most part. So that's something to keep in mind too. Let's see. I want to be near. Oh, there we go. Gray Shrub Peaks, right here at the Gray Shrub Peaks near the Lesser Lone Swamp in Arab Shrubland. It's dry, but not dry enough to become a true desert. All right, growing periods year-round here. It's fancy. Time zone is negative three. Average disease of one per year, which I'm not a fan of. Sandstone and slate are okay. We're on planet Calf 15 with the seed professional. Coverage 30% in case you were wondering. Let's go. All right, now I'm going to have to generate my stuff here. I got to prepare carefully. It came out yesterday for this, for this game, so I'm very happy about that. All right, bear with me for a moment while I get my team adjusted and ready to go. All right, that took long enough, but let's go. So, we're going to take a look at our team here. We have myself, a game fanatic turned explorer. I have, I'm, I give it, us all six traits here to start off with. So I got Night Owl, Optimist, Fast Learner, so I learn things faster. Cold Lover, Lazy, and I actually forgot to add a sixth one to myself because I'm a smart boy. That's Smart Boy, the last one here. I'll just leave me with five, that's fine. Anyway, there you go. I cover intellectual mainly, as well as some mining. We have a Volpe on our side here. She is an animal lover, eagle-eyed, green thumb, kind, sanguine, but she's also a sucker, which means she's not good at social necessarily, and she gets worse deals when trading. That said, animal lover will be good for anything having to do with animals, which is great. Not so good with people. So she does really like dealing with animals and growing plants as a lone traveler with an adventurous youth. And she's also good, pretty good with a gun as well. Dismas is our main person with the gun, who oddly enough does not have as much skill, but he does have a bionic eye. He is a street urchin turned hired assassin. He's uncouth, careful shooter, but he's coordinated, which gives him a lot of very, very small bonuses, which will help with his construction skill. He's also bloodlusted. He does not like animals. But he's tough, so he has a high pain threshold. And then our fourth, fourth person here, we're going to bring Reynold. Yes, he's 40. He's a medieval squire turned medieval knight. He's bloodlusted. He's a psychopath. He's an athlete. That's aesthetic. He likes aesthetics. He likes things to be really pretty. He's iron-willed. He's an iron man. He's a brawler. He's all about fighting, as you can see from his skills. He brings nothing else to the table except a tiny bit of medicine skill, which I don't think anyone else has. So he's technically our best doctor as well, which is interesting. And as for equipment, well, we got wood, steel, a female timber wolf for reasons, 40 packaged survival meals, and then that pizza. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing the pizza, whether we like it or not. Let's get that pizza. Anyway, that's going to be our team. As more people come in, feel free to let me know if you want to be a part of our colony, or I should say our faction, because we might have more than one colony going forward. Anyway, Confirm that you're ready to start. I am ready, my friend, to finally begin this adventure. That was like 30 minutes of just preparation. It took way too long, and I apologize for that. Anyway, here's our map. As we can see, it's permanently summer, apparently. And we got our wood all in one stack. I don't see our steel. But that's okay, because there's a little order I have here called Unforbid Everything, which I can use now. The steel was unforbidden here. There's a honey badger over here. It probably doesn't care about us. Some elephants. Take a look at our map in total here. Definitely looks dry here. We got some compacted plasteel, which is pretty nice. Some polymer walls made out of calcium, it looks like. Wow, there's actually a good amount of plasteel here and some regular steel as well. As for plants, I see this one over here bearing fruit, a fig tree. Pretty nice. Raspberry bushes. Pretty nice. All right. Getting just a little bit of a little bit of our bearings here. Are these giraffes? These are giraffes, and I love it. Oh, beautiful. Compacted machinery. Yeah, there's a lot of new animals, so we should be seeing some new ones as time goes on here. Sensor panels on the ground. That's interesting. All right. Limestone walls. Okay. Okay. We got a good nice little bearing of our grasp here. Let's go ahead and land. Gotta watch out for that honey badger. Alright. Now we did start with no weapons. So this should be fun. Anyway, we got like nothing except the pizza. Is it at least a good pizza? 30 minutes or less. 
Gives you consciousness and metabolism. Ah, uh, yes, just like all foods. Okay. So, what's our first step? Probably take down this hempcrete wall. Where are these mods I've added here? And there's a porcupine over here as well. It's pretty great. So, Hunter lacks ranged weapon. We know this. I suppose our first step is going to be to go ahead and deconstruct a couple of things here. We're going to deconstruct that, get the wood ready, and build us a couple of houses. For our orders here, we can tell people to do things that they would normally be not able to do, but they're not going to like doing that work. We're also going to rename our timber wolf root. There's reasons behind that. Anyway, with that in mind, yeah, go ahead and deconstruct that. We'll build uh, some new places here somewhere. We could build on the sand. It's not a great idea from a, you know, logical standpoint, but we can do it. So we're probably going to build some houses to start with here. All right. What is the biggest area I can build in? I guess right here is the biggest area. Yeah, all across here. So this is probably where I'm going to be building. And we need this space to actually grow in. So we're probably going to start somewhere like up here. Where we already have this polymer wall set up. That said, let's get some houses going. It's a great place to start. We're going to give them, um, I think, 7x7. Seven seven. There we go. It seems big, but it's not really that big. Alright. We can't make dirt paths because we don't have dirt here. That's okay. We have wood. We have plenty of flooring to choose from as well. All right, we can get some other wood as, as we can find trees too. But for now, we'll just put down, what is the cheapest wood I can put down? I got two wood here for wide wooden floorboards, which is okay. The rest of them are kind of put together as special pieces of wood. We always put down some concrete, but that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. All right. We're also going to... Ooh, we get some components from these uh, sensor panels, too. That's nice. We're also going to go ahead and train Root in everything. That'd be pretty great. I would appreciate it. These rocks are eventually going to be hauled out of the way. Let's go ahead and actually put a door here, too. So, door on each side. Then we'll go ahead and roof this up. And this will be our first little storage area. Alright, just a quick stockpile zone to put stuff so that it will stay and keep and all that good stuff. I'm apparently going to clean up around here because that's what I do. Alright. Ironwood floor, huh? We don't have any ironwood, but if we did, that'd be cool. And we could do rustic wooden floorboards, which look nice. But they cost 150 wood. I'd be able to make one literally and then I'd be done so I tell you what we're gonna need to chop down more wood there we go we're just gonna put down you know what chop all the wood on the map designated 260 trees to drop okay and by drop I mean chop okay this one is gonna have to actually be a door no offense to you Dismas but we do need a door here all right with a door going in well, actually, we don't know what these are going to be yet. We got some, you know, palm trees. We got some cactuses. I don't know what kind of wood cactuses give us. But everyone's working. We're working on things here. See, it's 10 a.m. right now, so we do have time. I'm, I'm a night owl in daytime, so that's not going to be great on my mood. But I should be all right. For the starters. And eventually, we're going to need to make some weapons, even if it's just super primitive weaponry. So, let's go to production here. Make a crafting spot. Put it over here for now. Why not? Wow, we have a lot of things we can make. We can make dirt. Dude, we can make two dirt. <laughs> oh, wow. I, that's all I wanted in life was to make two dirt. What's the recurve bow take? 40 wood. Recurve bows. Pretty good. Make bed frames, too. Make two recurve bows. What does a bed frame take? 25 ingredients. So it can be made out of multiple things. It's gotcha. You know what? We're going to need four beds. Let's make four bed frames. All right. This is all getting hauled in, which is great. The floor, the, the, the room here did not get done quite effectively. Who's crafting? Dismas is the only one who crafts. He's not the only one who constructs, too, is he? Oh, God, he is. Okay. I will construct. 
yeah, my uh, average skill in that is low. I get that. And Volpe will construct as well. All right, we need more people constructing. Reynolds is the only one who does doctoring or surgery, which is now separate. You can see here there are a lot more skills that are separated, which I like a lot. Let's see. I think that's all I need to look at right now. We're not going to factor in our skills yet because it's not time to do that. Here's our research, by the way. It's a mess. <laughs> and we have very little of it done. But there are a lot of research tabs as well, including a full medieval tab. A vegetable garden tab, which we have agriculture one. Polygamy beds, which are bigger beds, which we should already have the ability to make some of them, yeah. So we could make like a triple bed if we wanted to. If we want to get fancy. Anyway, that's all well and good. Dismas is working on bows, which is great. Let's roof up this area too. Again, because it's mostly done already. We're kind of just working with what we have. All right, that's going to get roofed up. Things are getting going to get made. People are working on things. For now, we can put in some makeshift beds. They're beds with no mattresses. It's literally just a frame. It's not ideal. We have 42 wood. Wow, we ran out. We ran out fast. Okay. Now nah, we got more, though. We got more wood. I still don't know what, what the cactuses become when they get uh, taken care of here. But we got 30 components just from taking up those... Areas there. That's pretty good. Dismas is working on a bow. So he'll, ha he'll have something to shoot with. This is a Drago tree. Gives us Drago wood. Well, that does make sense. Cactuses give us regular wood. Okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I don't think you can make it. Do we have Drago wood floors? We do. Gives you that warm, homey feeling. How much we got? 62? How much does it take to cover the ground here? 150. I mean, it's not like cactuses are never going to grow here. We're going to have cactuses. I don't know if we're going to have enough. What am I doing? Hauling steel? Okay. Does anyone else plant cut? Nope. Volpe's the only one who plant cuts. I'm going to give my Dismas and myself the ability. Reynold doesn't like doing it, so I'll leave him alone on that for now. He doesn't have a melee weapon yet. But I think he'll be fine. Yeah, we're going to eat our meals. We're going to eat without tables. It's going to be terrible, but... We can manage. We can fight through this pain. We will have tables someday. All right. Now the cactus getting cut down. They're not going to give us a lot because they're barely grown, but uh, still, need to, still need to plant some of them either way. And eventually we can just grow our own plants. Or grow our own trees, I should say. Speaking of which, we will need a growing zone eventually. Do, is there any like rich soil around? There's some around this geyser. But that's not quite ideal. We could make better soil eventually ourselves, so that might not be the biggest problem. We have plenty of things that allow us to cultivate and make better soil. So I think we'll just grow on regular dirt for now. Let's make a small growing zone to start us off. How about a 5 by 10 Let's grow us some... Let's see, what do we want to start? I guess we should start with something we can eat, huh? That would make the most sense. Snow beets? Bean plants? Coffee plants? Oh, it's so good. I think we're going to start with something. Let's start with carrots. It's good for your eyes. It'll help help Dismas with his aim. All right, Volpe's going to get right on that, which is going to give her some good mood boost since she is a green thumb, which is good for us. All right, we have 85 wood. We could make a couple of beds right away, but I think we're going to have to sleep on the floor for the first night. Look at that. I can go at speed three with no slowdown. What miracle world is this? I love the default setting for this, for this game size. All right. I mean, he's gathering wood like crazy. We're going to have plenty of regular wood at this rate. So what if I wanted a regular wood at this thing up with the regular wooden floorboards? 150? I actually have enough. Let's do that. There we go. Once we do that and get a bed in there, we should be in a very good spot. Yeah, Volpe's in a great mood now, even though she's sleeping on the floor. Don't have the zoom in mod. I gotta get that one put in so I can zoom in on their faces again. But everyone's gonna be sleeping on the floor tonight. Even even Reynold, who's not gonna be happy about it. Brawler has ranged weapon. Where did you get a crossbow? Alright, well, I'm gonna have you drop that. 
I'm honestly not sure where you picked that up. Or the smoke pop belt. Smoke pop belt of labor. Max hit points. Max gives you more market value, more immunity gain. What in the world? I'm sorry, it's a clean smoke pop belt of labor. What? Dude, I never want that popped. That's amazing. Warm cloth tunic of knowledge. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna need to get him to give that up. I'm gonna wait till he wakes up and then he's dropping that sucker. Like it's hot. Giving that to Dismas for now. Anyone else have weapons they want to declare? No, he's the only one. I got some nice Synthread jeans, but other than that, also Volpe's wearing all fox skin clothing. That's, well, except for the jeans. Okay, Reynold, you up yet? It's at 90%. I don't know where he found that. Anyway. Sleeping on the ground. I know it's not a mood boost. He's almost done resting, so we'll have him drop that in a bit. His steel armor, though, 50% against uh, sharp objects. Pretty great. Okay, he's up. He's up. Drop the crossbow. Don't forbid it. Dismas, pick up the crossbow. I'm also a hunter who lacks a ranged weapon, but that's okay for now. Someone failed, but that's okay. We got this. We got this, guys. We will not have to sleep on the ground for long. And Reynolds in a much better mood from that, too. Yeah. His mood's going to be all right. Dismas can actually hunt. We need to hunt so that uh, we can eventually train Root as well, because we're going to need some meat for that. So I suppose for now what I should do is actually take myself and Volpe off of hunting. And then find some relatively non-dangerous animals to hunt. So, what do we have? I mean, the porcupine, I guess. Is that it? Well, the, I guess the giraffes probably wouldn't go nuts. But they're, they're in such big herds. I don't want to hunt the squirrel. There's another timber wolf out there. Aha! Ostrich! That's what I'm talking about. Probably don't want to mess with the cougar, but... You know, we can let uh, Dismas do some hunting here. Alright. See how that crossbow works for us. Really gonna stand literally in front of it? Alright, from what I'm seeing, not well. Alright. Please tell me it'll, it'll at least be one shot, one kill. Dismas, please. Oh, he, he did get it! He got it. It was not a kill, though. In fact, it didn't even cut something off. Well, this is kind of an exercise in painful futility, from what I can see. All right. You know what? Because of that, we're not going to need to make two recurve crossbows. Let's make the bed frames instead. All right. Well, this is just sad. <laughs> okay, how about, how about you get to work on those bed frames? There you go, make one out of Drago wood. Yeah, that's good. All right. So I'm actually just going to take this as the blueprint for uh, a single room. We're just going to call it room one for now. Rename it later. Export it so I can use it later. And then we'll create a couple of rooms. Here we go. Give everyone a bedroom. Wait, did the first one get made already? It did. Oh my god, he's got he's got three of them already. This dude is not playing around here. Alright, bed. Regular bed. I have the bed frame. It takes cloth, of course. You gotta make the freaking mattress out of something. Alright. Hmm. Didn't think of cloth. I guess we're gonna have to do makeshift beds for now. It's not great, but it's something. Alright. We're working on that. You got all the bed frames done, and... Yeah, he's done with those. Cool! So now when we can get cloth, we can actually make some beds. Which means we should start growing some cloth. Do another 5x10. Hide it. Grow cloth here. Where is cloth? Can I not grow cloth yet? Do I have to research cloth? Oh god, I think I have to research cloth. Was well, there something else I can make stuff out of? I might just be missing it. I mean, I am kind of a dingus, but there's cotton. Never mind. We're good. 
Alright, I don't like these animals around my freaking things here, so you know what? We're gonna have to go ahead and make a Drago wood fence, I think. Around my, uh, around my property here. Yeah, that covers it. There we go. Drogglewood Gate. Boom. There you go. Keep them animals out. All right. We're surviving. We may not be thriving, but we're doing it. I think we got plenty of wood scattered about here. There's regular wood right here. Oh, yeah. We got 200 wood. That'll be enough to make the beds. Maybe not the flooring and everything else that goes with it, though, yet. But we're getting there. We're also going to grow some trees. I shouldn't need to hide the trees, I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think. Anyway, 5 by 10 here. Let's grow some trees. Let's see. We can grow... S Let's grow... Cactuses? Sure? Why not? I guess. I don't know, man. We'll try cactuses. Dismas is in kind of a rough mood. Because he's still working on this bow. I mean, go, go. Take care of yourself, please. <laughs> Just ran outside. He could have slept in the door or inside, but no, he decided to sleep outside because he's like, he's roughing it, you see. He's got to rough it. That's what he's doing. He's a rough, tough guy. So he's got to rough it. Gonna need a meal source soon. Yeah, I, I'm working on that. I actually have carrots growing right now, which is pretty great. It's a source of food, you see. Don't know if you knew about this, but you can eat carrots. It's a, it's a pretty great thing. We do have a porcupine that's dead. I think it bled out. All right, we're gonna need to butcher that soon. So we'll just go ahead and put a butchering spot in here. There we go. Lots of other things you can make too: tailor's loom, ovens, milling stones. Dude, we are gonna be making so many awesome meals. Just butcher creature, do forever. Use the meat for various meat-like things that you use meat for. You also need something for joy. So we'll go ahead and... Hoopstone ring! Oh! Players toss stones from a distance and attempt to get them to land inside the ring. Oh! It's so good. It's so good. Where, where do we want to play Hoopstone? We'll play Hoopstone right here. Right here for now. It's not a big deal. Alright? It's not a big deal. What's considered home area right now? All this. All right. I can see that. For now, I'm not too worried. All right. There is one bed. All made and done. There's two beds. Actual bedroom in here. It's awful. But what are you expecting? I need to haul this stuff out here. We're going to make a dumping stockpile zone, I think, up here for now. Just to put those chunks. Oh, we butchered it. And we got some bone out of it, too. We can use bone for materials as well. Uh, why does... Oh, okay. No, that's fine. No, that's good. I like it when people get attacked by things. Reynold, can you like... Uh, you know what? We should all help. Because he could actually be killed by this cougar. And I would not want that to happen. That's not the way I want to start this adventure. You Please understand. Please understand. Oh my god. Thankfully, it's... Uh, <laughs> accuracy is... Fairly terrible here, but uh, everyone's coming. Everyone's coming to help. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's down. <laughs> All right, but we're, we're fighting back. Cougar is revenging. Where is everyone else? They're coming. They're coming. All right, I'm hurt, too. But we're all fighting the cougar now. ay ay, -ay. Should have made a shiv. Actually, the shift probably wouldn't be that good either. Let's be real. Okay. And a visitor. Hello, you have things to trade. Good for you. We are dying. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Okay. Undraft everyone. Rescue Dismas. All right, eat your meals. All right. Hold this in. And then Volpe, you need to kill this thing. Your item, a normal cloth desert head wrap, is infused. I think it's the one that she's carrying. Yeah. 
Infuse means that it has some special properties to it. This miss is getting patched up, though. It's not going to be great quality, but... Because we don't have medicines. Okay, finally dead. I know you like animals, but come on now. It was trying to kill us. Oh, boy. That's a rough start. But it looks like everyone's going to survive. Very, very minor damage on Volpia and myself. Dismas got the brunt of it here. But, uh, yeah, if we're going to need to worry about cougars, we're going to need to worry a lot. <laughs> all right. We should be all right. He's tough. I think he'll be fine. But we'll see. Anyway. That's not a great way to start this one, but that is going to be the start of this episode, of this series, I should say, of That Plays RimWorld Beta 18. Thank you very much for watching. It's going to be tougher. That's all right. That's all right. It's going to be tougher, but we're going to get through it, and things will start getting better eventually. Thank you for watching this particular episode of That Plays RimWorld Beta 18. My name is Thet. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. If you have not already, feel free to subscribe for more, because, yeah, it's going to continue coming out all the time. Thank you for watching this episode of Thet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.